Welcome to Quartz Components. Today we are going to build a fire fighting robot using Arduino. It has a flame sensor for spotting oncoming fires, a water tank and a spray mechanism for putting off the flames off. So let's get started and build this project. So for the complete assembly of this robot car you can refer to the previous video. You can see the link in the video descriptions. Uh, these are the three fire, fire flame sensor that is connected to the Arduino pin number 8, 9 and 10. Now let's attach the flame sensor with the help of double sided tape. Now take the L293D motor driver module and place it over here with the help of double sided tape. Take the submersible pump, this is the DC submersible pump. For the water tank, we are taking uh, this paper cup. So with the help of double sided tape, let's place this cup over here. And this DC submersible pump will go into that cup. So I have taken the servo motor and attached a water pipe over the servo head with the help of these two wires and attach a jumper cable that will connect to the Arduino. Now let's take the car and attach to the body. <coughs> and these wire will go to the Arduino. Now let's connect the servo motor wire positive to the positive 5 volts and ground to ground. This is a orange wire that will connect to the pin number 11 of the Arduino. So I have connected all the pins to the Arduino as per circuit diagram. You can refer the circuit diagram in the description and on your screen. This LN293D motor driver module is connected to the DC submersible pump with these terminals. A 12 volt pin is connected to the 12 volt pin of the DC battery. The ground is connected to ground. E1A is connected to with the 5 volt. C1A is connected to the ground. And C2A is connected to the pin number 6 of Arduino that will controlled by the Arduino. This cup will get filled with the water. Now as soon as the fire will come in front of this flame sensor, that command will go to the Arduino. According to the command and code we have uploaded, this servo motor move and the submersible pump will take out the water through this pipe and the fire will get blown off. This, this is how our project works. So let's see the working of our project. I hope you like this project. And if you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more such interesting projects.